Hello again people and welcome to this video. Today you will learn how to calculate the cross and headwind. Let's first start with the most important thing, the formulas. The formula for the crosswind is wind speed times sin alpha and for the headwind wind speed times cosine alpha. At the first time it may look a bit complicated but it's actually pretty easy. The first thing that we need to know is what is alpha. And here is a picture that I have from the eval documentation that explains it very well. At the bottom we can see that alpha equals to wind speed heading minus headwind heading. In other words, it just means where the wind is coming from minus aircraft heading. So let's do a quick example to fully understand everything. At the left we can see the meter and aircraft setting. Let's take a closer look to the meter to get the information where the, air, where the wind is coming from. And here we can see the wind is coming from 140 degrees with 10 knots. And the aircraft setting is 110. So to calculate alpha is pretty easy. Just 140 minus 110 and this equals to 30. This means alpha is 30. Well, let's now start with the main calculation. We, I have put the formulas in the upper right hand corner in order to assist you. First we need the wind speed. In this example, the wind speed is 10 knots. Then we need sine alpha. As alpha is 30, we have 10 times sine 30. Let's now type this into the calculator. 10 times, open the brackets, 30 sine and close the brackets and the result is 5. This means we have 5 knots crosswind. <clears throat> now let's calculate the headwind. It's basically the same process but we are not using the sine, we are using the cosine. So let's grab the calculator once more and calculate this calculation. So, 1, 0 times, open the brackets, 3, 0, cosine, and close the brackets. And the result is 8.66. So, we have 8.66 headwind. Knots headwind. And this was the mathematic way to calculate the head and crosswind. But there is also another way to calculate it with a chart that I as well have from the eval documentation where you just must recognize which is your alpha and calculate like this. But attention, this method is not so accurate as the mathematic way. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope that I helped you and until next time. Bye bye.